Hello, thank you for stopping by. I simply want to take a moment to encourage you as so many have done so far. I want to encourage you to remember to have regular visits with your family, friends, and loved ones. Those visits are via phone, video conferencing, even snail mail. Let us remember to stay in touch. Let us remember to support one another as we fight this pandemic, the coronavirus. It is an unprecedented time that we've never experienced before and we need one another. But as much as we need one another, we need our God. Listen to the word of God. Isaiah 41 and 10 says, do not fear for I am with you. Do not be anxious and look about for I am your God. I will help you. Surely I will strengthen you. Surely I will uphold you with my right hand. That is so comforting to know that God is with us. Let us pray. Father, we are so grateful to know that indeed you are our God. You are very present help. You are refuge. It is comforting to know that indeed you will strengthen us. You will not only help us, but you would hold us uphold us during these challenging times. Father, we do pray for our president and all of those who have to make decisions as to what we should do to stop this pandemic. Father, we ask that you would surround him with people of wisdom, that you would encourage them and that you would touch their physical bodies as they're expending many hours trying to combat this crisis. Father, we thank you so much that you are with us. You promised to never leave us nor forsake us. And even though we don't understand and we don't fi have this all figured out, we can trust you. The word of God also tells us to trust in you, Lord, with all of our heart, all of our being, and not to lean to our own taxes, strategies, and understanding. And we choose to do so. So we thank you, Father, for being with us. And we trust in you. Amen. I thank you again for stopping by and encourage you to continue to let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Blessings.